Hey everyone, Blizzard KB here, and this is a set of Rash Key puzzles. There are three different versions of this puzzle. This is the Rash Key 1 over here, Rash Key 2, and Rash Key 3. There's really no significance to the name other than just to differentiate between the different shapes. Let's take a closer look at this first one. Now all of the Rash Key puzzles have a sort of a plastic over this top face. There's only one face that you're going to pay attention to on the Rash Key Puzzle, and this is the top face, and then again, it's covered in plastic. Now, when you look along the sides, they are not covered by plastic, and then here's the back side. This Rash Key Puzzle has the name mentioned on it. I don't know if I'll be able to show it in the light that's given, but it says Rash Key up here, and down here it says Made in Germany. I think you can see it slightly if I flash it into the light. At the top, again, it says Rash Key in the bottom, made in Germany, and here's the back pieces of each of these puzzles. This is a pretty simple puzzle. The only object is to get this, uh, this puzzle back into this pattern. And you'll see there's four blue pieces in the center here and four red pieces in the center. And these two, there are two overlapping circles, one over here and one over here, and that's how the puzzle uh, rotates its pieces. You hold the pe you hold the puzzle by holding onto the sides of the pu sides of the puzzle and then rotating. And this is how you move the pieces around. So you can rotate the pieces on the right around, or you can rotate the pieces on the left around. And that's how you move pieces around this puzzle. And again, that's the Rash Key One. So you can obviously mix it up. You have to align it correctly, and then uh, I should be able to rotate this other side. Okay, here's the here's the regular position, and I'm looking to. Okay, there you go. So now you, you see that it can get mixed up. You have to watch out a little bit for the alignment of the pieces. There are only some positions where the pieces can rotate. This is Rash Key 2, which is really simplistic on this end. And then this side can rotate so that you can mix the pieces up. And there you go. You can get a mix up of the pieces. As there's only two colors on on this puzzle, it makes it a little bit easier than the Rash Key 1 puzzle. But in some ways also it could be a little more difficult because there's more of this one color as opposed to this puzzle which just has a couple of pieces in the middle. Everything else is the same. So this one probably is would be considered the easiest and then this one a little bit more difficult simply because there's more more pieces that need to be in the same side. Then here's the Rash Key 3 puzzle, which is the most difficult of all. In, in, in truth, none of these puzzles are really that hard, but out of the three of these puzzles, this is the hardest one. And it has obviously the red on the left, blue on the right, and yellow in the middle. And then you can mix around the colors. Let me get it to a position where I can rotate. Okay, yeah, see, there you go. So we'll rotate this yellow side back and then bring it back to the center and now it's back in a solid position. This puzzle can be a bit stiff and breaking it in will help a little bit, but in general, this is a stiff puzzle. Let's see if I can bring the back of this up. This, the back of this Rash Key 1 has a red back and the Rash Key 2 has a blue back, something I didn't really mention. Uh, trying to get the light to shine on it. See, see the Rash Key at the top and the Made in Germany at the bottom of the Rash Key 2. And Rash Key 3 has a yellow back, and we'll see if I can get the same lighting on the back here. Rash Key at the top, and then Made in Germany at the bottom. Okay. 
I'll have a link on where you can buy some of these puzzles in the video description. You may or may not be able to get this puzzle readily from a store. You may have to look for it on eBay or something. Uh, by the way, these puzzles were designed by Oleg Rashkov, and he patented this puzzle in 1999. I'll have a link on uh, a bit of a history of the puzzle and how to solve it in the video description as well. I am Blizzard KB, and this is a set of Rashkey puzzles.